Hey guys, welcome to this latest edition of Streaming News. So let's get stuck straight in. And this first bit of news is about Prime Video's new Dialogue Boost feature. So we've all been there, you've been watching a movie or TV show, and you can barely hear what the characters are saying. It's frustrating, right? Well, that's where Dialogue Boost comes in. It uses artificial intelligence to enhance specific moments of the dialogue, making it easier for you to understand what's being said. Now the cool thing here is that it's not just your average dialogue enhancer. Most enhancers just increase the volume of the center audio channel, but Dialogue Boost provides a separate audio stream that's been modified to make sure you catch every word. It's like having a personal sound engineer right in your living room. And get this, you can switch to the new Dialogue Boost audio at any time, and it comes in three boost levels, low, medium, and high. So you can easily customize it depending on what you're watching. Now, because Prime Video needs to create the new audio stream ahead of time for each video, it's currently not available for all their titles, but don't worry, they've already added Dialogue Boost to some of their hottest titles, like Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and Harlem, as well as the movies like The Big Sick, Beautiful Boy and Being Ricardos. Now, to enable Dialogue Boost, all you've got to do is select the English Dialogue Boost option from the Audio Language options while a video is playing, and it's that easy. Now this next bit of news is about the latest and greatest streaming service to join the Fire TV party, and you've guessed it, it's DirecTV. So this new integration means that all DirecTV channels will now appear in the Fire TV's built-in program guide and live tab. So this is huge news for all US customers who have the DirecTV app installed and subscribed to the service. You can easily access all your favourite DirecTV channels without ever leaving your Fire TV screen now. And to be honest, it's been a while since we've seen new streaming services added to the Fire TV's live TV experience. The last ones to join the party were Fox, ESPN and a few others. But now with DirecTV on board, the Fire TV's channel guide just got a whole lot more exciting. So with this integration, you can now use Alexa to tune into a specific DirecTV channel with just your voice. Just ask Alexa to tune into the channel name in DirecTV and boom, you're instantly transported to the live TV stream of that channel in the DirecTV app. You're also going to get DirecTV's programming appearing in Fire TV's universal search results. And you'll see channels listed in various category rows like news, sports, in the live tab and in the on now row on the home screen. So overall, this new integration with DirecTV is a game changer for all you Fire TV and streaming lovers out there. It just makes your streaming experience seamless, effortless and convenient. Okay, this next bit of news is about Amazon Fire TV's live experience and how it's been evolving over the years. So it all started with the first Fire TV smart TVs, which made it easy to access antenna channels through the TV's built-in OTA tuner. But it didn't stop there. The live experience continued to grow and improve and now includes live tab, a traditional program guide and home screen rows. And guess what? The live experience just got even better with the addition of new streaming services, apps, channels and devices. You can now access a wide range of content from services like DirecTV, Fox, ESPN and more, all through the Fire TV's live TV interfaces. And the kind folk at AFTV News have provided a full list of streaming services, apps, channels and devices that integrate into the Fire TV's live TV interfaces. And this list of services is obviously going to increase with time. Now as you can see some of these providers are free and some of them are subscription only. But I'm sure you can agree that's a fair old selection. So guys I definitely recommend adding these apps if you haven't already added them. Now in other news, Walmart just dropped a bomb with their brand new ON and Google TV 4K streaming box and let me tell you it's a total game changer. Now you may remember the ON and TV box from 2021 which offered 4K streaming and Android TV support for just $30 at launch. Well, Walmart has done it again with this sequel, which is not only packed with features but it also comes with a ridiculous price tag of just $19.88. So this new device is everything you could ask for in a streaming box with 2 gigs of RAM, Dolby capabilities and 4K video output, you won't miss a beat. And if you're a fan of the old version, it's similar to that with 8 gigs of internal storage and Wi-Fi 5. But wait, there's more. The ONN Google TV 4K streaming box also boasts an updated processor, which means you get AV1 decoding support for even higher streaming video quality. And let's not forget you'll be getting the new Google TV UI, which is a major upgrade over the legacy Android TV interface. So if you're in the market for a cheap streaming box, the ONN Google TV 4K streaming box is definitely worth keeping an eye on. Okay, so the next bit of news is also about Amazon and it's basically that they've just dropped a brand new tab on the navigation menu called Free. This tab is denoted by an icon of a check mark in a circle and it's all about listing rows of content that can be streamed for free. Now this new free tab can be found between the search icon and the home icon. Now the bad news is it seems as though the free tab isn't coming to all Fire TV models. The Fire TV Smart TVs and the third generation Fire TV Cubes have an extra input icon in the navigation menu which doesn't leave enough room to fit the free tab. 
Now I remember when Amazon announced that Sling TV was coming to Echo Show devices back in 2021. Well, it's been a long time coming, but Sling TV has finally arrived on the Echo Show 8 and Echo Show 10 devices. Now it's been a year since Sling TV first made its way onto the Echo Show 15, but now the smaller Echo Show devices can get in on the action too. Simply say Alexa, open Sling TV to start streaming your favourite channels, and you can even jump to a specific channel. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and do share it with others who might find it useful. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.